KCBS News Time 620. The UN has released a blistering report on the state of climate change and the accelerated pace at which the planet is warming. But will this lead to action by politicians? For more, we're joined on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline by our political analyst, Mark Sandalo. Mark, I, I wonder whether or not, you know, how often or how much do these, do the scientists have to wave their arms before anyone does anything? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good way to put it. I mean, the uh, uh, this is a review. I mean, it's going to sound like old news. You know, gee, global warming is bad and we haven't done enough. Of course, this is a report. It's the first one put out by the United Nations in three years. It, it's a compilation of 14,000 scientific studies. So this is a big piece of work. And essentially, they confirm what a lot of people have said for a while, which there's no doubt that human activity has created global warming. And the alarming part, and they call it, you know, code red for planet Earth, they say there's essentially nothing Thing we can do to stop the effects of global warming. It's too late for that. That doesn't mean that action now won't stop the catastrophic effects. And I mean, in some ways, I think the public attitude to this, you know, uh, Colin Jost at Saturday Night Live uh, made some comment a year ago saying, you know, if you owe your bookie a couple hundred dollars, that's a drag and you try to deal with it. If you owe him a million dollars, it's like, eh, I'm going to die anyways. Who cares? And, and, and that's clearly the attitude of a, a lot of Americans and certainly the the political class. The um, there's a fascinating study out by uh, this is almost a year old now, but by uh, researchers at Yale, and, and they asked whether people across the United States believe that global warming will harm them personally. I mean, of course, we've all seen stories about you know islands in Micronesia that will be overrun and all, but what about personally? Forty nine states. Less than half the people said that it will affect them personally. The only state in the country where more than 50% said it would affect them was in California. And, you know, in part that's because between wildfires and droughts and heat waves and, you know, floods, Californians have felt this. Uh, but, but it's partly just a matter of this is an issue which California politicians have been very, very outspoken of. Of course, it's a you know, it goes back and forth. That's one of the reasons because people believe it. But when you look at our political system, when it's hard enough to convince people to invest in infrastructure, which will probably have an effect in the next, you know, one, two, three, five years on them, to try to convince people to take action to something that will probably not be a big effect, at least in their minds during their entire lifetime, is virtually impossible in our current political system. Well, that's right, Mark. And I'm going to have to take the other side of the coin on this, too, because you do have those who say this is cyclical and you look at how long we've been doing these uh, these serious studies say l- let's say 100 years i mean you know a drop in the bucket so you have those who say it's the media playing it up and you can make numbers say whatever you want them to just like you can political polls and certainly it is in our character, Dan, I mean, really, to, to play up things. I mean, there's no question the media as a whole exaggerates, hypes things. You know, it's that, you know, you don't read about the banks that aren't being robbed. You read about the bank robberies, and it always makes it seem worse. But to put this in perspective, this report says that the, I mean, it is cyclical, but the amount of carbon in the atmosphere now is more than it's been in, they estimate, three and a half million years. Now, it is cyclical, but of course, you go back to that cycle, uh, you know, Homo sapiens didn't exist back then. So it, it, it's it's cyclical, but this suggests the human race could also be cyclical. And, and, and I mean, you, you have a point in that um, we've got such a culture now of people hyping things, and then the people who are opposed to it dismissing all of it as hype that you know you can't even get people you know vaccinated these days but 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 there's not much you can do i mean it's one thing to say one environmental group in a fundraising campaign raises the alarm this is a compilation like i said of 14,000 studies and essentially what they say are the kind of extreme weather conditions that we've seen and you guys have been breathing and uh, you know seeing in the skies you know for for a long time now these kind of things which used to happen about every hundred years are now more likely to happen at least every decade and if we don't doing something soon they could happen every several years so there's no question the effect is here and at a certain point people have to understand you know the earth it doesn't look like it but the earth is round and you know it revolves around the sun and at a certain point you have to stop believing what your instincts might tell you what you see and what the scientists who spend you know careers working on this actually tell us all right mark good to talk to you as always to mark sandalo kcbs political 